Can we use C++ language on ARM Cortex microcontrollers? Let's find out. Our C++ application starts with a main function and an infinite loop. And yes, we are again incrementing counter variable to check if our application is running at all. Without it, we are not able to see any difference by just looking on the board. When running, it looks like this. Two hours later. Of course, this will change after GPIO peripherals, introduction and LED control. Additionally, we need a make file and linker script file together with system startup and CMC's library files. Those we can take from our first application, there is no need to write them from scratch. We just have to modify our makefile to handle C++ source files and compile them using proper compiler. In the meantime, we need to ask ourselves why we would like to use C++ for embedded system and answer that question with at least three short but solid arguments. Number one, modern object-oriented programming techniques. Over the decades, embedded applications have grown from small apps to big, complex systems. Inheritance, polymorphism and encapsulation are just a few object-oriented programming mechanisms that can improve code readability, portability and reuse capabilities. They also make developers' lives easier. Number 2. Performance and code size Right, the good old holy war in embedded world. See guys arguing how C++ code bloats versus C++ guys showing it is not true. Well, I will stick to experts like Jason Turner, Dan Sachs and Michael Case that multiple times proved C++ code can be at least as efficient as C code. Number 3. Compilers support for C++ on microcontrollers. Nothing really to say here. Compilers do support C++ programming language for microcontrollers and that's all we need. Number 4. For me personally, this is something different than just usual embedded C coding and I just wanna give it a try. I don't expect it to be easy. I expect it to be challenging and face issues and failures. Keep in mind, I'm also not an expert in C++. All this Cortex M series is kind of a field test for what I learned about the language itself in the meantime. So to answer the question if you can use C++ to program ARM Cortex chips, the answer is yes, we can. But can we use all C++ features? Unfortunately not. There are two C++ functionalities we have to disable straight away. First, RTTI. Just not following primary C++ rule which is you don't pay for what you don't use. Try using it and your memory will get sucked in like it happens to run when using Chrome. Second, exceptions. They are just not used in embedded. Everything is fine until your application runs in normal execution paths of code. But things get ugly when it runs into exceptional paths. Then it gets really expensive and things can go really bad. Additionally, writing good exception-based code is way much harder than writing good error code-based code. And again, we don't have that much memory. 